What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I do have some great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak. One has been demonstrated by a security researcher. This video is brought to you by AnyTrance, a software that allows you to manage the photos, music, videos and apps and so on on your device. You can also drag and drop files to your device directly from your computer. Check it out in the link below. So as you probably know, a couple of days ago Sar Amar posted one of their vulnerabilities in a complete write-up on how to use it, how to trigger it and so on and of course this is actually compatible with iOS 15.0.1 and lower. It has been patched on 15.0.2 as it says in here. Now a couple of hours ago Pattern F, another security researcher whose vulnerabilities we have used in the past in various jailbreaks, posted quote, write a jailbreak demo for CVE 2021-30883 fixed in 15.0.2 by Sar Amar on iPhone 11 on iOS 14.0. Why 14.0? I just want to verify if the vulnerability is exploitable. The code is based on the old IP KMSG hack. The exploit has better speed than Secura Verosa. So if you go ahead in here and you check it out, they do actually show how they attempt to jailbreak that device. The video isn't exactly very clear, you can see the video has a very poor resolution, but they do use this vulnerability released by Sar Amar and they are actually able to exploit it in order to create a jailbreak demo. Now granted, it works on 14.0 in here, because 15.0 is a whole different can of worms, but it does prove that the vulnerability is indeed exploitable. Now what Saramar released in here was a proof of concept, so basically the vulnerability itself and how to use it, how to trigger it in order to panic the device and make it reboot, but not an exploit that would be usable for jailbreak. What Pattern F did was to take that and create an exploit for it in order to be able to access some files and of course semi jailbreak the device and get access to SSH and so on. So that's a completely different animal in there. So theoretically you can make this work on 15.0.1 and lower so if you do that that would support 15.0.1, 15.0, 14.8, 14.7.1, 14 14.7 and all the way down to 14.0. Now in the light of these events people ask me if they should actually update iOS 15.0 for an upcoming jailbreak and my answer remains the same. Don't. If you're running 14.8, stay there. 14.7.1, 14.7, anything. Stay on 14. Point something. Do not update to 15.0 because even though this vulnerability works on 15.0.1 and 15.0, as I mentioned in my other videos, there are more hurdles to pass on 15.0. For example, the jailbreak cannot touch the root FS, so we cannot remount. We have to go rootless because otherwise the device will panic and reboot in DFU mode, and it will require a restore before you can use it again. So iOS 15 has multiple other things that need to be patched, we don't only need this exploit here. So I would definitely recommend it to stay on 14.8 or lower, because those do not have that RuFS protection, so we can remount properly and we can create a proper jailbreak like Uncover or Torin on iOS 14.8 and lower. For 15.0 and 15.0.1, I'm sure there will be a jailbreak eventually and it will very likely use this vulnerability here, but for now it's much better to stay on 14.8 or lower. So that's basically it, a quick news flash for you guys, it has been demonstrated, basically a jailbreak with SSH and so on, so that's actually great, but still we need to wait a bit more. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.